Hey guys, how's it going? That sound you're hearing is uh, cicadas. Uh, this year in Arkansas is the emergence of the 13 year cicadas. Uh, it's pretty interesting because uh, you know, you'll see a few every year from time to time, but uh, there's a couple different varieties of them, but the particular ones we have here are of the 13 year variety. And so they all kind of come out of the ground. Uh, you know, they're just a little bug that, that spends most of its life uh, underground. And uh, when their life cycles come and do, they, they emerge out of the ground, they crawl up into trees, and uh, they uh, transform into the flying cicada. And then they, they live for a few weeks after that, they mate and they lay eggs and then they die. But uh, I really didn't pay much attention to them until I started noticing a lot of cicada hulls under my trees when I was doing my yard work. Uh, let me show you what I found. What I noticed was there was lots of little holes showing up in the yard that were just kind of kind of random and you know at first I thought well it's a spider or, or something like that but uh, they're just all over the place those holes are about half inch in diameter there's a few more then what you'll also notice is and they're just cicada hulls all around the tree. And what they do is they crawl up those trees at night. In fact, if you look up in the trees, you can actually see some of them still attached. That one right there. About how big they are. It's pretty neat. It's amazing that these bugs will live underground for, you know, these prickler ones are a 13 year variety. So these bugs have been in the ground longer than we've owned this property because we've just owned this place a little over 10 years. So these were actually in the ground before we even moved to this part of the country. It's just fascinating. All righty, guys. I just thought that was pretty neat to kind of show y'all what we had going on down here in Arkansas with these cicadas. Uh, I did a little research on them and uh, there's a website called magiccicada.org. I'll put a link down below here. Uh, you can go to that and check it out. Uh, and there's actually a place where you can, uh, if you uh, experience a, a cicada emergence, uh, you can actually report it and it'll show, you know, you can plot a map and show what kind of what kind of cicadas that you found. There's different ones and uh, there's they show different ways to identify them so you can tell which species of cicada that you have in your local area. And I just thought it was kind of neat. But uh, anyway, we'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one.